Hey friends, Doug Goodrich with Goodrich Aviation and Custom Aircraft Builders. And if you follow our channel, you know that we're the sling dealer and build center here on the East Coast. And we love sling aircraft. We have, uh, let's see here, one flying now and four in process. One's gonna be flying soon. One's going into paint soon. And um, we're just, we're really enjoying building these airplanes with our customers uh, through the whole Build Assist program. It's a, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but we've decided to branch out into another make and model. And behind me, we have an RV-14 going together. And so we're gonna start uh, helping people build their, uh, their vans aircraft here on the East Coast also. And <clears throat> we're excited to be doing an RV-14. It's a great little airplane. And we're gonna do a series of videos for the RV-14 build. It's gonna be different than uh, a lot of other build videos. We're not gonna get into the nuts and bolts of how the thing goes together with our customer. Um, we're gonna talk more about uh, kind of the process and do a lot of comparison with the, uh, the sling aircraft because I think people will find that interesting. Uh, what's the actual build process like for a sling compared to a Vans. And so we're just learning how the Vans are going together. And, you know, the Vans community is so large and uh, knowledgeable. So bear with us as we're, we're learning these airplanes um, along with our builder. Um, <clears throat> but they're, they're fantastic planes. And I do want to, you know, preface everything by saying we love slings. We think they're fantastic airplanes. And we're really honored to be part of the sling community. But we're excited to be part of Vans. We think they're fantastic little airplanes. And uh, uh, we think the RV-14 is a, is a fabulous plane. I get asked all the time to compare the RV-10 and the TSI because they're both low wing, uh, four seat experimental airplanes. And so it's fun to talk about the differences between the, uh, the airplanes. But uh, we're really excited to get down to the nuts and bolts of putting one of these planes together and talking about how they're, they're different in their construction and their build from the, um, the sling aircraft. So um, we're, we're looking forward to this whole process. Uh, I'll introduce you to Sergey, and uh, we'll spend some time with him talking about why he chose the Vans aircraft. And we'll talk about other details as we come uh, across things in the build process here that we think will be interesting and worth sharing. Now we're all aware of uh, you know, van struggles right now and we know we're, they're gonna pull through, uh, that uh, they've got a great product and they're great people. Um, so I'm pretty, uh, um, I'm pretty confident that uh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna spend some time talking about where we're at with our kit here um, with the laser cut parts and with the ordering, what we're missing um, and kind of what we're experiencing here. Um, so we'll be talking about that in future videos. And one of the things that, uh, that we're gonna be doing with this too, because it's what we do with our slings, is uh, we're gonna be uh, doing etching and alodining of uh, this RV-14 instead of primering the, uh, the parts. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, we're gonna go that route mainly because we're already equipped here uh, to do that. And, uh, and Sergey, the, the builder and owner of this kit, uh, decided that uh, that would be a, a, a good way to go forward with his, uh, his uh, airplane. So we'll talk some about that. And just any other interesting thing that comes up along the path of this, uh, this build. Um, we'll talk some about the avionics that are already here for it and uh, interior, the paint process, things like that as this all goes together. So encourage you to follow along as uh, we build an RV-14 here at Custom Aircraft Builders in New York. 